We made this knife jig here so we could put names and messages on pocket knife handles just like this right here. And we use it quite a bit. And I'm gonna show you today how we use this jig and I'll tell you how you can get the files to make this jig. So if you don't already have the file to make this, there is a link down in the description below this video where you can get that file. So I'm just going to assume from here on after that you have the file and that you have already made one of these. This is actually just cardboard pieces glued onto a quarter inch piece of plywood. Um, it is all cut out, has finger holes here. So yeah, I'm gonna assume that you already have the file and that you already have one of these made, but let's go on over here and I'll show you how to get this set up in the laser and the software. First off, I'm gonna show you how to set this up in the laser here. Um, this is our Thunder Nova 35. This is the 80 watt laser. By the way, I'll go ahead and give you, whenever we get to the point of settings, I'll give you everything that we use, but uh, this is also some little, uh, I don't know you call them bed clips or whatever uh, for this, honeycomb grid clips. We picked these up off of Etsy. They're just 3D printed. Um, I'll leave a link to them as well. But we're actually just gonna pin down one side. So I'll take this and I'll just kind of pin it down right here. With the Thunder laser, you can see how I can move the laser head. I'm gonna move it to this uh, crosshairs here. And you may have to actually manually adjust this just a little bit. Once you get that side, we're gonna kind of pin that down so we know that this side is lined up. Then we're just gonna move our laser head over to the right. And basically we we'll want that to line up with that crosshair so you just fudge it just a little bit. And we're gonna pin this down now. So now we can double check to make sure it's straight. It's lining up pretty good. So that lets us know the jig is straight in uh, with our machine. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. We're gonna line up the laser dot right in the center of our jig. Once you have it lined up in the center of your jig, that's when we are gonna press the button that says origin, and we are gonna set an origin point for that particular spot. So now we've pressed the origin button, and we have that locked in. Now we can actually move this around if we need to, and we can load our knife or knives in there. This is a particular style of knife that a lot of people laser engrave on. There's a few different suppliers that actually sell these, uh, and that's what this jig is specifically for. So we're gonna go ahead and load this knife. We're gonna load it into the top one. We're just gonna do one for the video, but you, it doesn't matter. You could do one or two at the same time. So we're just gonna place the knife into the cardboard jig, and then I like to kind of pull it down to the bottom of the jig. There is just a little bit of play in it, just so they go in and out easier, but I kind of pull it down to the bottom of it and that's all it is to load it. Next, we have to focus on it. So we're gonna move our laser head to the knife, then adjust your bed height up or down to make sure you get your focus correctly. It just depends on what laser you have, but our laser focuses to about six millimeters and we use this to make sure that we get the focus correct. Once you know that your focus is correct, you can go back to your origin spot. Now that we have all of that done, that's pretty much it as far as setting this up. Now we're just gonna move over to the computer and I'll show you what we do in the software. So now we have imported that file into Lightburn and when you open it up, um, you'll see here that it actually has it set for a line and we are going to change all of this actually to a tool. And so while it's all selected here, we're just gonna select one of the tools. Uh, we'll select the orange tool. That way by selecting a tool, nothing actually cuts or nothing gets uh, engraved. Anything like that is kind of basically ignored with the laser, but yet it keeps your, your dimensions and everything. That's why we can work off of this and work off of centered. So one thing right off the bat that I want to point out is you'll notice the little green dot right in the center. That's the way that we work on a lot of things. And you'll see over here, job origin. So you can select the like upper left, upper right, any of these corners here, and even in the middle, you can select all this, but 
we're going to start from the center and we're going to make sure that the start from point is current position. So that is where we are doing. We're starting from the current position and then we are doing the job origin from the center. Once we have that, all we have to do now is add our artwork. So we're going to zoom in just a little bit. As you can see, we have our artwork imported here now. Um, and we want to make sure that we set this to a fill because this is going to be engraved. And we will resize this. So we're just going to grab the corner, resize it. And then we can position that on that knife. So we loaded a knife in the top. So we'll just make sure that we position this to where it will fit in the top knife. We're also going to rotate this. So we'll get it here, play around with it. Go ahead and drag this up here until we get it to where it will work. Good. Um, even those rivets or the little screws that are on the knife are kind of lined up there with your, your template file. So you can kind of make sure that you avoid those. We'll shrink it down just a little bit. Once we have it positioned uh, correctly, you'll see on here uh, where the tool is just a frame. There's no output on that, but the fill line here is our actual engrave. And our settings for our engraving on these knives, we normally do these at 500 millimeters per second and 75% power. Again, this is on our Thunder Nova 35 80 watt laser, and that could change depending on whatever watt laser that you have. But that is a starting point, at least for our machine with this particular knife. So 575 is where we're at. And all we have to do now is just send this file to the laser. So we're going to go up here, we're going to go to the laser and we're going to click on send. And we're just going to give this a name here for knife and press OK. File already exists, we're going to overwrite that in our laser and that should already be sent to the laser and it's ready to engrave. So the file is already set up here. Um, like I said, since you made that a tool, the outline from the knife or the outline there from your jig file will not cut or engrave uh, just the engraving. So let's move over to the laser now and let's watch it engrave. So now that we're over here to our controller, we're going to load this file now. So um, I always like to hit escape first, then file. And we will see a file named knife there. Go ahead and hit enter. And it has loaded that file. And if you want to just make sure that everything's going to be OK, you can hit the frame button so you'll see it trace on the knife. So we'll hit the button here. And it traced on the knife and we know that we're looking good as far as placement. And once we have that, all we have to do is hit the start button. We're engraving. This is actual real time. This is not sped up. This is an actual time for this engraving and it doesn't like much. It's almost completely finished. And it's wrapping it up. And that's it. Once you're finished, you can actually move the laser head out of the way. Now that it's finished, the fan has stopped running. We can go ahead and take a look. And there you have it. I don't know if you can see, there is a little bit of like residue from the laser. We normally just wipe that off with something like a, uh, a little wipe here, damp wipe. And it cleans up nicely. And as you can see, we have our positioning correct for that handwritten engraving. So I think that is really neat. We have been selling these as like Valentine's gifts, Father's Day gifts, you name it. We've just been selling a lot of these. And that's a wrap on this video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.